Well, it seems like for 2021, the biggest game changer is the self-washing feature. Now, this isn't anything new. A lot of companies are starting to follow suit, and now T10 was one of the first companies to introduce this new system. And of course, companies like Yeti and Dreamy Tech follow suit. Okay, but you know what? Roblox wanted in on the action. So for the end of 2021, they released the Roblox G10, the newest self-washing mopping robot and vacuum. But instead of following the competition, they decided to go their own route and create their own unique design. Alright, so for stars, the Roblox G10 definitely looks like it stands out from the crowd. Take a look at the docking station. It has a white and black color scheme, which definitely looks pretty cool and modern. I think it will look great in my house. Now, the competition decided to go with the all white design, which is okay, it's neutral, but I think they should add some personality to these guys. Alright, so Roblox decided to not follow suit by adding counter rotating mopping pads, they decided to stick with the tried and true fiberized system, which was found on the Roblox S7. Now, personally, when I tested the Roblox S7, I felt like the fiberized system was a really good mopping system just because it vibrates at ultrasonic frequencies around 50 hertz, very similar to your ultrasonic toothbrush. Now, the benefit of having a very fast vibrate mopping pad is it allows it to get the stubborn dirt grime, which I previously tested in my bathroom area, I did a pretty good job getting off the mud and other sticky dirt and grime. Okay, so another benefit of the Vibrize system that Roblox incorporated is it allows it to lift a few millimeters off the ground, it allows it to get over low profile carpets and also rubber mats, so yes, your carpets won't get wet. Now, a downside to all three of these guys is you have to physically remove the mopping pads if you want to vacuum those areas. There's no way for them to remove those mopping pads by themselves. Okay, so the next thing about the Roblox G10 is the fact that the docking station can auto fill its water tank. Yes, the G10 has its own water reservoir, which is very common on a lot of these hybrid vacuuming and mopping robots. These guys actually rely on water getting pre-sprayed, so the downside is you have to have these guys go back continuously to pre-apply fresh water and to wash them. So this definitely takes a little bit longer to do, but with the G10, it can go out farther since it already has its onboard water tank and it can continuously add water when needed. Another benefit is it allows more precision over the water flow. So let's say, for example, your bathroom can be a little bit more wet while well, you can apply more water and maybe you have delicate hardware floors in the kitchen. Well, you can limit the water flow all done through the app. Now, as I was testing these self-washing mopping robots, you can see that they do a pretty good job cleaning and they all have their downsides. For example, the Nara T10 just has a suction only port, but the other mopping robots I've tested do have a spinning extractor bar, but I felt like on the Yeti mop station wasn't very powerful. But with the new G10, I think it's around 3000 pascals, if I'm not mistaken. As for navigation, I felt like all three self-washing mopping robots I currently tested did a pretty good job navigating to the effective target point. But you know what? We're in 2021 and we're starting 2022, so we expect more from these robot vacuums. Well, Roblox didn't stop there. They had new time of flight sensors. It's a combination of lasers and a camera system to help recognize various obstacles. Now, I have tested this system on like the Jimmy Tech L10 Pro, also like the T8 Plus. I felt like the system did a very good job recognizing various obstacles and it's not getting affected by glass or small objects. The next feature on a G10 is the fact that it scrapes the dirt grime off its mopping pad instead of relying on the spinning force of the counter rotating mopping pads which goes against the plate. Now both features work fairly well but I found like when I tested these guys where the mopping pad scraped on the plate there was still some dirt grime left behind. But with Roblox system where it actually uses a uh, spinning extractor bar or brush and it goes along the entire length of the mopping pad it did a really good job just in the videos I've seen. So this system allows it to really get the dirt and grime off. It's uh, it uses kind of like a bristle style uh, extractor bar inside the docking station. So very cool feature and I will be anxious to try this personally on my channel once I get my hands on a G10. Okay, so let's talk about the dirty water tank, the fresh water tank. Nothing different there. If you look from the top, you can see it has the same size water tank, probably around the 4 liter mark. Alright, let's talk about the last feature, that's the air inlet port I found on the side of the robot near the dustbin. Now, with this air inlet, that indicates that the G10 will be compatible with a self-emptying bin. 
you might be able to use the previous one from the Roblox S7 or maybe to redesign a self-washing and self-emptying all-in-one docking station for the G10. I can't wait to see what Roblox comes out for 2022, so stick around. I'll do my best to contact the company and I'll get my hands on the G10. I did search the web. Unfortunately, I can't get that in my country. So thanks so much for watching. You guys have a happy holidays. Uh, stick around. I got a lot of great content coming around. I'll try to showcase some new robots as they come. So I can't get you guys a heads up for what's to come for 2022. Alright, see you later. Adios.